Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be uh, reviewing, unboxing, and testing this pure sine wave inverter that I bought from Amazon. This was uh, the cheapest pure sine wave inverter that I could find. Um, it is a 500 watt inverter um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and open it up and test it and see what all I can do. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, this inverter comes with a user manual. All right, it says that it's a pure sine wave inverter, but I do not have an oscilloscope, so I don't have really any way of testing that. So when I get one of those, I will make sure and leave it in the comments on whether it is or not. Okay, so it has your basic user manual in multiple languages. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, looks like we got some, uh, some, some clamps, some battery clamps that plug into the unit. Uh, I'm not sure what type of plug this is. Is this an XT90 plug? Please leave it in the comments if I'm wrong, but is this an XT90 plug? And then it also has a cigarette lighter adapter, so you can plug it right into your car. So that's always nice. All right, it's wrapped in a uh, little bit of bubble, bubble wrap. Okay, here it is. It's a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter with a thousand watt peak. Uh, the manual does say that it has slow start, so you might be able to run uh, heavier, heavier loads. Uh, so it will actually get up past 500 at the initial draw. Let's see, nothing on the back. So on this side, you have your uh, your fan and your uh, your DC plug-in right here for either your clips or your uh, cigarette adapter. And then over here on this side, looks like we have a power button, a 12 volt 8 amp uh, barrel plug, a USB-C plug that Looks like it offers 18 watts. And then uh, two USB ports. And then we also have our two uh, AC outlets uh, that have little holes for the ground. So that's always nice. You can actually plug in two grounded plugs. Yeah, the unit's not really that heavy. Uh, let's see, dimensions. It looks like it's uh, eight inches by 4.3 inches. And then it's 2.2 inches thick. So let's uh, go ahead and plug it into a battery. Start it up, see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and use our alligator clamps. And we're just going to clamp right onto this battery. This other inverter is turned off, so we don't need to worry about that one. But if anybody was ever wondering, you can have two inverters plugged into the same battery. As long as they're, they're both the same voltage. Uh, you know, this is a 12 volt battery, so this is a 12 volt inverter. And so is this. You can have them both on and plugged in at the same time. Uh, the only downfall is, is the idle consumption. You're pretty much gaining more idle consumption because you have two devices hooked up at the same time. A little spark. And it's on. It, has, uh, it looks like some uh, LED lights around it so you can see. See if I can turn some lights off so you can actually see it. There we go. Can you see that? So that way, if you're like, if you're in a dark car, you if you uh, you plug this in, if you plug this into your cigarette lighter, you can actually see uh, all the ports where you can plug it in at. So that's kind of nice. And then there's a the on button right here, which turns on. I'm guessing the AC side. Well, we'll test that. First, we're going to. Uh, Let's just go ahead and test the AC, see what kind of voltage we're getting. It says that we should get 110 volts. So let's go ahead and just test that real quick. All right, and this is actually showing 116.3 volts. 
So we're going, it's going over the 110 that it shows. So that's actually pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in something into this barrel adapter and we're going to see if we get 12 volts out of it. All right, and here I have a cigarette lighter adapter. So let's go ahead and test this. Change the voltage to DC. All right, and we're actually getting 13.33 volts out of the, uh, the 12 volt barrel adapter. So that is excellent. Next, we're going to test the uh, USB-C port, see what kind of wattage we get out of that. All right, and we're getting five volts, 2.6 amps. So that equates to about 12 watts, something like that. Um, and I believe that is all that this can take. So it's maxing the, the input on this right here. If you, if you turn this power button off, it still, it still will charge your, your DC appliances. It just turns off the AC part of the inverter. So that's nice. Okay, let's go ahead and test these other two ports. And they are rated for five volts at 2.4 amps. So we should pretty much get the exact same reading. 4.91 volts with uh, 2.13 amps. So it's a little bit slower than the uh, USB-C, which is expected. And let's go ahead and check the, the standby consumption. Okay. The standby consumption with, uh, with the AC power turned off uh, is like 2 milliamps. Yeah, so I'm barely getting any reading at all, but it, it says that the, the amperage draw is 2 milliamps. So it's basically not using any power except for lighting these little tiny lights right here. So let's go ahead and turn this on and test it again. 0.2 amps is a standby. So with, uh, with a nominal voltage of 13.3 volts right now on this battery, um, the standby consumption in watts is about 2.66 watts in standby. So that's, what is that, divided by 500? Yeah, so that's like half a percent of, uh, of standby consumption. Okay, let's go ahead and put a small load on this and uh, see how it goes, and then we're gonna increase it until it, it it goes to uh, overload protection. All right, I just want to show you the things that I plan on using for this test. Um, I have a halogen lamp right here. I believe it pulls uh, right around 450 watts. So that'd be a good test to, to, kind of, to kind of see how long this thing can run on max load. And then also I have this uh, fan heater down here. And what I'll do is I'm gonna just run the fan for a little bit to kind of see uh, see if the efficiency is right at around 85% um, and then I'm going to crank it up to low and I believe that's around 700 watts and we'll see how long that inverter stays on under that kind of condition because that is over the 500 watt limit that this has. So let's go ahead and first turn on, we're going to plug this in and turn on the fan we're going to test the efficiency of the inverter to make sure that it's 85%. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan on. So it looks like the fan is using 27 watts, 0.23 amps. And then we're going to check the uh, voltage and amperage of the battery. The battery is at 13.3 volts. And the amps, we'll say 2.21 amps. If my calculations are correct, uh, on the AC side, the amps were 0.23 with 116 volts, so that gives us 26.68 watts uh, being used. On the DC side, the amps were 2.21 with 13.3 volts, so the watts being used on the DC side is 29.39, so the efficiency with that small of a load is 90.7%. We'll try to make it so it uses 100 watts now and see what the efficiency is. All right, I've got an old 100 watt incandescent light bulb. So let's see what happens with that. 
Watts it's showing 91.2. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the volts. 115.7. And on the DC side, our battery is at 13.2. And our amp draw is 7.7 7 .7 amps. Okay, so if we look at those numbers, with a 100 watt incandescent light bulb, on the AC side, it was it was pulling 90 watts, 90.24. On the DC side, it was pulling 101.64. So that still gives us an efficiency of 88.8. .8. So that's higher than the uh, than what the manual says. So so far, this thing's doing really well. So I would say the efficiency is good. Let's go ahead and uh, and overpower it uh, with uh, you know like six or seven hundred watts and see what happens. All right, turning on the fan too low. Oh, and it already turned off. It wouldn't even give it a chance. It just shuts right off. And let's see what it did. Yep, there's a red light. So I'm guessing all you have to do is turn it off, turn it back on. And yeah, and now it's working again. Let's go ahead and plug in this halogen light. We should get roughly between 400 and 500 watts from this. And we're gonna turn this on and let it run for a while to see how long it will actually run for. All right, and with those numbers, with that, with that type of load, the load we're giving it on the AC side is uh, 399, so 400 watts, and on the DC side it's 471 watts. So the efficiency, look at that, the efficiency is almost right at 85%. So when the manual, when the manual says that it's going to be 85% efficiency, that means at, that means almost at peak load. So that's that's excellent. All right, and it's still running this the fan the fan is kicked on the unit's not really hot at all yeah it's been running for two minutes right now so I'm just gonna let it run and we'll see what happens all right I'm gonna go ahead and stop the test there it's been running for a half hour and uh, running a half hour at over 400 watts, that's you know probably 85% of its full capacity. It's, uh, it's beeped a couple times, but it's never shut off. So I'm going to go ahead and call it and say this is a pass. All right, and since I know that this little inverter can run a 425 watt load, I'm not going to worry about the cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, because these cigarette lighter adapters are only really rated for about 120 watts and that isn't because of the inverter that's because of your car your car has little fuses and they're either you know 10 amps or 12 amps or 15 amps and that's what you don't want to blow when it comes to these inverters so this would be perfect for if if you're in your car and you wanted to plug in your laptop you could use the cigarette lighter and this would work great but you don't want to plug this in and you don't want to plug in you know a big halogen light into your car using a car adapter because the fuse in your car will pop not this all right with all that being said i am looking forward to using this uh, little inverter i have a plan for it and to my knowledge it passed all my tests i don't want to do reverse polarity on a battery because i think all it would do was blow the internal fuse and I don't feel like taking this apart. So I'm not gonna test that. But yeah, other than that, running high capacity, uh, you know, testing all the ports for voltages, efficiencies, everything passed in my book. So if you, uh, if you wanna leave something in the comments where you think I'm uh, incorrect on how I tested this, please do, that would be great. I'll leave a link in the description for this item if you wanna pick one up for yourself. Uh, I, yeah, I, I recommend it. It seems to be working great. I'll be using it uh, for a while, so I'll probably do like a month review of uh, constant use.
to kind of let you know if over the long term, you know, it keeps up. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about how I did everything, please leave them in the comments. Uh, if, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you like my content, please subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.